So, for today's What I Eat In A Day, I'm gonna be trying out another health and fitness app. And this one is called John Paul. I've seen videos in the past of people trying out the recipes from the John Paul app. Let me tell you, I've been seriously curious and intrigued to try out this app because what I get from the recipes is that they're just like everyday meals, but made healthy. And so when John Paul actually reached out to me, I was like, I'm so excited to bring you guys a What I Eat In A Day using the John Paul app. And so a massive thank you to John Paul for sponsoring today's video. What I love most about healthy cooking is still being able to make those yummy scrummy meals like spaghetti pizza but just making them healthier and if you're the same then you definitely need to check out this app. What instantly stands out to me with the John Paul app is that it's a health and well-being app, a food first kind of approach which to me is really important. The three main features this app has are of course tailored nutrition, a bunch of different recipes, it has a fitness section, it requires you to take a little fitness test it's nothing too scary but I will be getting into that later on in the video and then there's a mindfulness and motivation section I've never seen an app like this that has that section it is such a good idea to have that in an app there is such a connection between your health what you eat how you exercise and your well-being your mindset your mentality if you're wanting to try out the app there is a two-week free trial so no commitment you can just give it a week go before you pay for it when you first sign up you're asked to complete a little medical questionnaire this just asks various questions regarding like how active you are each day and kind of what your fitness goals are. So it's so important that you can get whatever you want out of this app. For me, it's always just about feeling healthier. I never want to come on my channel and promote weight loss or calorie counting. It's just not the way I approach food. But if you are wanting to use the John Paul app to try and lose weight, to track calories, that option is there for you. John Paul automatically prepares your meal plan. It can be a bit overwhelming trying to put together breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner every single day of the week, especially on an app like this that does have so many recipes. So what I've been doing is following the meal plan it gives me, but if I don't have the ingredients to a recipe or I just want something else, you can easily change your meal in the app and browse through all the different meals to see what fits you. We're kicking off the day with a smoothie. I love smoothies for breakfast because they're just so good when you're on the go, especially with this little puppy, we just don't have much time. Can I just say, I'm absolutely in love with how there's a video there are instructions down here as well, but you can actually see how to make every single recipe, which is crazy. So yeah, we're making this one, frozen red berries, oats, banana, stuff I have in the house anyway. Even if I'm having a busy morning, I find I always like to make time for breakfast. It just sets me off right for the day, and the smoothie is such a quick and easy way of getting some yummy nutritional fruit down you. This smoothie was so so easy to prepare, it literally took about 5 minutes and if you want you can completely mix up the ingredients, have a bit of fun with it. I also just added some cacao nibs on top because I seem to be doing that with like every smoothie or oatmeal I've been having recently. Cheers! Mmm! You can really taste the cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm. So now that I've finished breakfast, I'm just going to quickly prepare a snack. So since this little snack had to spend about an hour in the freezer, I made it a little bit earlier on in the day. Anticipating that I would definitely be hungry before lunch, I found this recipe for frozen blueberries on the John Paul app and I wanted to give it a go because I was like, I have all the ingredients already. It's literally just yogurt, blueberries, bit of cinnamon, vanilla extract. I will say you're best using fresh blueberries, that's definitely where I go wrong. So it's an hour later and here my little frozen blueberries. Because I use frozen blueberries instead of fresh blueberries, it means it's like come out in chunks, but it still looks really good. Oh, brain freeze. Very sweet, very yummy, nice little like, healthy snack. Today is a day where I do not have much on. I'm taking like this whole week to take care of the new pup. I've just gone to pets at home. Now I think I'm gonna do a little workout. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, John Paul does have a whole fitness section that is tailored to your specific level of fitness. 
However, you do have to sit a little fitness test first. So that is what I was doing today. I wanted to push myself to get a genuine result and I've never seen this kind of feature on a fitness nutrition app before. So I was really intrigued. As you can see, the activities were not too demanding. There's a big warm up period and then you have the actual test part and then a cool down period. Test was kind of difficult, just holding a plank for quite a while. Also doing push ups, which I suck at. But generally I felt quite good about it. And now it's nice to have a fitness program that is tailored to me. Lunchtime is here. I was so hungry by this point. So we're having baked sweet potato with this avocado and chicken. This was actually super easy to make. The sweet potato does take a while in the oven, but if you just get it in early enough and then make the filling just before it's time to come out, then you can definitely work this around like your work day or if you're a bit busy that day. So for the filling, I'm just chopping up some spring onions. I always forget how much I love spring onions. And then I'm getting some already cooked chicken. This is just a bit quicker. And then of course, slicing up an avocado. Gotta get that protein in. Then I seasoned it with some tarragon, which I've never really used before and it was quite nice. Some salt and pepper and a good, generous amount of sour cream. <laughs> So excited. Let's try this. I love scrummy food. He's just watching me. I think he's jealous. This is so good. I genuinely prefer this to like a normal potato because it's lighter sweet potato. This is actually such a good lunch idea because if you don't have much time, if you just get the sweet potato in the oven on time, then there you go. Hey Mark, he's just being a good boy. Just chilling. That's mommy and daddy. Have lunch. Let me see some fingers. Do you like peanut butter? It's dinner time. Tonight we are making chicken with mustard, mascarpone, and spaghetti. Apparently this only takes 25 minutes. I'm just a big sucker for mascarpone, so I thought this sounded so good. Starting off with some whole grain spelt spaghetti. This is just my favorite type of spaghetti. Uh, season the water with salt, of course. Gotta make it taste all yummy. And then I was just frying up diced chicken. And then it was time to prepare my veggies. I find chopping up veggies very therapeutic. I say this in every video. I love just switching on the iPad, watching some YouTube or Netflix whilst I cook. Now time for that flavor. So of course using like salt and pepper, but I also used some chicken stock, which I don't use much. I think I'm gonna use it more after this. Some Dijon, is that how you say it? Dijon mustard. And of course the star of the show, some mascarpone, get it all creamy. Then I just brought this to a simmer, left it for a bit in order to get those flavors getting to know each other before I added in the spaghetti and then mixed it all together. <laughs> Okay, my presentation's a little messy, but I think this looks so good. I've never used like chicken stock and pasta spaghetti. I don't know why, but let's try it. Some wine to accompany tonight's meal. Mmm. 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 This is the first drink I've had since we got the pop. Cheers, darling. This evening just ended up being a really chill one. I had a nice little Zoom sesh with my friends. It was so nice. And little Mochi was just sitting by me the whole time. He's so sweet. And we were gonna go watch a movie. So I wanted a little snack. And here's a really healthy alternative to like crisps. And I've had these before. I absolutely love them. Roasted chickpeas. You can season them however you like. I like just going for salt and vinegar. Mix the flavors all together. Stick them in the oven for 25 minutes. And then bam. And there we go. That was a what I eat in the day 
following the John Paul app. I absolutely love using these like recipe nutrition apps. You just never run out of recipe ideas. And so the nutrition part of the app is definitely my favorite part. This app is just so versatile for so many different uses. If you're using it to lose weight, then the calorie counting is there. But if you're like me and you just want meal inspiration, then John Paul will sort you out just with the vast amount of recipes that the app has. So make sure you check out the two week free trial if you are interested. It's linked in the description box. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in the next one.